Okay, I'm getting ready to lay out another issue of my magazine, and uh, I've always had trouble importing uh, from Word and wherever text that is formatted, so italics and bold, etc. So today in Affinity Publisher, I'm going to work on importing text and preserving the formatting uh, when you do so. I'd like to give a special shout out to Wosven on the Affinity forums who came up with a workaround that I want to remember, which is why I'm making this video. So the first thing to do is to make a few character styles, the, the formatting types you're going to want to preserve. So we add a new character style. I'm going to call this one body bold. Um, as the font family, I often use E.B. Garamond for all sorts of stuff, and I'll make sure I call it bold. And I believe that that will be enough. Um, now I'm going to add another character style. I'm going to call it body. Let's see if I can spell body italic. Again, and I'm going to call it italic. Now you can do a a bold plus italics if you need, but uh, that should be enough. <clears throat> Uh, if you have a bold plus italic text that you're going to be importing, but you'll use the same process. So now we're going to just go ahead and we're going to import some text. Uh, I just pulled some from the public domain from one of my favorite old, old books, Princess of Mars, and I've added in some a couple of random uh, italic sections and a random bold section. So I'll just copy you can use control C or right click now I've got to add a text frame in which to import so here we go and again just paste it on in so here we see that it is basically the same font and everything uh, I've got my view zoomed out a little bit so it's hard to verify that it's the same font size, but it is. So what we want to make sure is that the bold stays bold, all this italic stays italic, but that we get to apply uh, the fonts, etc., that I want for my body text for uh, the bulk of this. So the first thing, well, the next step is you've got to specially mark the bold and the italic sections. To do that, we're going to use this find and replace functionality, and we need to use what are called regular expressions. If you don't know what those are, don't worry. Just do as I do, and you'll be fine. And then you can research them later. They're really quite powerful. So open parentheses, period, star, close parentheses. Basically, what this means is any character um, the period means any character and the star means one or more occurrences of any character. I put parentheses around it uh, because what we're going to do down below is we need to reuse the section that we find in what we replace it. So now we go to the little gear here and I've already got it selected but you need to select regular expression. The next thing uh, you need to do is you go to format at the top Oh, and you do that just by clicking it. So I just clicked it off. Or you can click, if it starts on normal, click it to regular expression. Then I go to format, and I say anything that is italic. So if italic is on, then it will find it here below. And you can do that. You can click find and find it has selected now the first italic section and now the second. <clears throat> so now what we want to do is replace it with and you will put dollar sign one. Um, if you're search, it's a regular expressions thing just believe it. Alright and 
now we're going to assign it our specific character style that we just made called body italic. Now we do this replace all. And you see I had assigned it a new font, but that's fine for now because it will be preserved when we, uh, when we change everything. So now up here, actually let's take a quick break. So now we need to replace all the bold ones. Again, we go to format, we leave on regular expression. Regular expression. Uh, this time we'll check off italic and make sure that it says italic off down here. And then font weight, we'll choose bold because that's what I had before. We'll say okay. Uh, now we'll just, as a sanity check, click find and make sure that the bold sections show up, which fortunately it does. And now what we'll replace with is no longer body italic as the character style, but body bold as the character style. Replace all. Now it's done. So that, uh, if, we, if I had a lot of sections, it would have replaced all of them all at once. So now we can select all the text and we want it to be our, uh, whatever I've assigned my body text here to be. So you can right click uh, on body and just say, apply body to paragraphs. Now, of course, if you clear character styles, we just gave a bunch of character styles there and it will wipe out all that hard work we just did. <clears throat> so as you can see, it is still italic where I wanted it to be italic, and still bold where I wanted it to be bold.